months paid bereavement leave. That is the plan heading to New York Governor Cuomo's desk. But critics say this uh, will drive companies out of New York. So what are the states that are fostering a pro-business environment? If you want to start a business, where do you want to go? Here now to break down the top three is the founder of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Thanks so much for coming on this morning. morning. So this plan actually is interesting in, uh, enough is, uh, for New Yorkers. It's actually a bipartisan plan. And it's a plan to help people out if you have bereavement. And it could be anything from a child or a parent to a grandparent. Three months off is a lot of time I know. And, and, and it's a burden on a small business owner, right? Yes, and it's unfortunate, obviously, when people pass away, but right. as far as business owners go, they're gonna be without employees then for a whole three months, just like as if someone had a pregnancy leave. And what if they had two or three overlapping employees at the very same time? That could be hard in a business. Yeah, a, a bunch of it is funded by a, a very small percentage of your tax, which will go up here in New York, a higher tax, 0.1%, something like that, uh, that we'll all see taken out of our paychecks to pay for that, but then the employers have to deal with the staffing shortage and everything else you're talking about. Yes, three I think months, it's going to be time. hard yeah. on small to mid-sized businesses. This isn't really something that's going to be a problem right. for the Amazons or Googles of right. the world. It's, this, it's the little guys. But it's another liberal policy in another blue state that makes it harder to do business. We see things like this in California all the time, and we've seen an exodus from there. Let's talk about the three businesses where if you want to do business, it probably is the better place to go. And we start with uh, a state not a lot of people think about, Wyoming. I know. Supposedly, it's beautiful. I've never been there. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been there? Good skiing. I've never been. I've always wanted to go to Jackson yeah. Hole. Yeah. Well, we can go and we can start a business today. So yeah. how it works is no corporate income tax and no individual tax. So that is phenomenal. And then no right. gross receipts tax. So that's very important, especially if you're starting out the business. Low sales tax rate, too. Look at that sales Look tax. Look at that. It's more than double of that is the sales yeah. tax it's in New York. It's like 8.8 here, yeah, right? Yeah, it's almost 9%. Also, a lot of entrepreneurs in the state, which is great. And a lot of businesses that start out there survive. You know, in New York State, a lot of businesses, startups fail. You see restaurants, businesses closing constantly in New York, yeah. not here in Wyoming. So that good is, stats for that state. It's interesting. You just got to find people to buy your products in Wyoming. That's the tough part. <laughs> There's not a lot of people out there. All right, let's talk about Delaware, a very small state on the East Coast that gets yeah. overlooked a lot. You wouldn't believe this, but 64% of the companies, the Fortune 500 companies, actually are incorporated in the state of Delaware. It's not just tax-friendly. It's also friendly as far as the legalities of setting things up. They there's so many companies you wouldn't even know are incorporated in the state of Delaware. A state that you can drive across in about 20 minutes, and you said 64 percent. 64 percent. So that's uh, the Fortune 500 companies. And they so invite them right in. Very friendly there. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So Delaware is another one to think about. Uh, Florida. Now Florida is friendly for a, a different set of reasons. I lived there for three years. No state income that tax. That saves you that so much money. You don't beautiful. realize. It. But once you go there and you live there, huge savings and also low corporate state tax as well for, for businesses. So, again, very business friendly and a lot of entrepreneurs there as well. Again, 100 startup firms, 1,000 yeah. make it. And that is just huge. And the climate. Yeah. You know, young people go there, want to be there. You have the beaches, right. you have the warm weather. They pay you with so, the sunshine, too. So that's yeah. great, too. And there yeah. are other states, Nevada, Arizona, states that are taking all of California's businesses away uh, that, that make it very friendly. And they learn because they see these policies come in. They're not business friendly. And they say, you know what? Let's make them business friendly. We can steal all those businesses, and then they're healthier. That's right. And you know yeah. what? With, with Trump passing this new tax to yeah. save corporations, it's it, he's trying to get people, he's trying to get businesses to ramp it up. So why New York is passing? Passing these laws to hurt right. businesses for this state, it doesn't make any sense to me. And we're learning how to compete with the rest of the world, too, yeah. under, under this administration. Melissa, thank you so much thank for your you. time. We appreciate it. Coming up, deadly dog food. The celebrity chef being sued, accused of serving up a toxic dish to pets. Also, steer clear, caught on camera the moment a suspected car thief trying to milk a getaway for all it's worth, is utterly shocked. Boy, there's a lot of play on words there. As she is corralled by cows. Stay tuned. Going wherever you need. Running down drinking.